Okay, what we have is a um, Toyota 5FBE15. Symptom that the customer is complaining about is there is no lift. All right. So key on, press the handle, nothing happens, no lift. So we know somebody's working on this before. Jump one wire, right? This is your contactor for your uh, lift. All right. So I already tested by pushing the contactor manually. Uh, it does operate the motor and does lift, all right? But there's no control for that contactor. So somebody jumped uh, from the back, from here, you can see that wire, which is supposed to be the supply for the coil. Somebody jumped the, uh, I'm guessing they had a broken wire before. So somebody jumped it, all right, straight to, and it does have a positive here that's a positive supply we can check it from here let me show you I'm just gonna hook up my meter so check my meter right now it's zero all right so testing from here So I can see battery voltage. So meaning to say that the coil is good because this red wire is the supply that goes through the coil after the coil, which is this one. I see the 35 volts, which is supposed to be the battery supply. But when you try to lift, because this is the signal wire, that should become zero. But nothing happens all right nothing happens so now we are gonna put it on the other side see the meter all right so this yellow wire right now is supposed to be that wire the signal wire going into the uh, contactor Okay, I'm gonna try to press the uh, you know, up the back. You can see the reading, which is supposed to be 36 or 35, whatever battery voltage. It's only eight volts. So what this is telling me right now is there is a high resistance in the wire leading from that contactor up to my computer. Let me try to operate the uh, lip. Now it's at seven. And now we're hooked on to the pin on the computer side. If I try to operate the lift, you see it went down to zero, which tells me because there is a change that the computer, right, is trying to provide a negative. So to verify that, we can actually reverse our meter. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up my positive straight to the battery and my black lead to that wire and see if the computer is really providing the negative. Okay, so now my meter red lead is connected to battery positive and my black lead now is on the same wire which is the signal wire for that coil or the contactor. So I'm gonna focus you on the screen and then I'm gonna try to hit the lever for the lift. Okay, so that's battery voltage. So we are hooked up with a black probe. So we are looking for the negative, which the computer is providing. And that is, so the computer is good. It's pro trying to provide the negative, but because of the higher resistance between the wire from that coil to the computer, uh, it's not working. So how do we try to test it? So just to be 100% sure that it's just a corrosion in the wire and I'm try to do is just bypass this for a bit put my lead there I don't want to burn my uh... and then we're just gonna jog it so right now I'm trying to bypass the wire from the computer to the coil that's the signal wire all right and then we're gonna try to hit the lip Okay, that's it see 
So bypassing that wire from one end from the coil to that operated the contactor thereby I know if you heard it it operated the motor. So the fix for this is we're gonna have to find that break in the wire right and we're gonna tidy this up now have to talk to the customer if they want to replace a harness which I don't think he would want to do or we're just gonna be doing the same thing bypass that wire leading to the computer and that will be it for this